Hey everybody. Let's see if a few people get on. I want to share. We're going to be working with some fonts tonight. And I'm hoping. Hey Chelsea. Hi Tanya. Hi Debbie. Hi Trisha. We are going to be working with some um, fonts tonight, and I want to show you how to line everything up and how to get it just right. It's going to be pretty cool. And you know that, um, actually, you know that I do everything live for the first time, so um, this might be fun. It might be crazy, but I think it'll for sure be fun. Okay, so here we go. Basically, I have this little board. Thank you, and you know what? I got it. I don't remember where I got it, but... Um, because, so I have to tell you what I learned... Some of these boards that are super beautiful, they are um, kind of finished, and you would think that that would be great, but this is actually a very loose finish, and it will come off on the back of your transfer. So what I decided, hi, Diane. What I decided was um, whenever I get one that's finished like this, I go ahead and wax it. So you just um, use a cloth. We have... Um, the paste wax that comes with some of our boards and you can buy it for like $1.99. Um, and you just kind of like put it on and then you rub it around, rub it all in, like you buff it in and then you change to a clean side of your cloth and then you buff it off. And then you let it set for 24 hours. So um, you just kind of like set it out overnight. Like I'll do a whole bunch of boards um, I just did one tonight and I'm waiting for tomorrow because, hi Michelle, because I want to um, play with this one. This is our new whiteboard, so I want to play with that tomorrow. So um, I have this handy square that gives me lines of the center of my board. And then this is going to work for any of your dark boards, any chalk boards or anything like that. And um, hi Jen. And it will also work for this board. Um, just taking a piece of chalk, and I'm just going to kind of make a line down this um, um, laser line. Like, what is it called? So if I turn off, I have already done this one. Can you see that? And let's see if I turn this off. Will you be able to see it? I can see it. Um, but because it's on white, it's probably hard for the camera to pick up. But I think I'm the only one who needs to be able to see it. And then chalk obviously wipes right off. Hi, Laurel. Hi, Tammy. So, hi, Lori. So when you're working on a chalkboard, for sure, use your level or your um, square or your, you know, your laser or your ruler and... Um, draw chalk lines and that's going to help you to get things straight. Now I can't really guarantee that mine are going to be perfect. Hi Ellie. Um, just because I'm a little off anyway so you know my letters might be. So I'm making this gift. Well I don't want to give too much away but I know that I will give away as soon as um, well maybe none of you even know so that's fine. I will just play like um, you don't know. So when you have the center of your board here, I'm actually going to do the letters that are in the center and work my way out. Um, and that's going to work really great for my bottom letters. And then when I do the top, um, this is going to be the script that I wanted to show how to line it up and how it works. Our Bromello font comes in two large sheets. And one of the sheets is just the script beginning letter or the ending letter with the swirl. And then the other sheet, which I've already cut up, 
is the inside letters that hook to each other. You can kind of see. So I feel like this is going to be really, really cool. Um, I'm excited to get this project started. And I'm going to use, this is actually a little, it's going to end up being a baby sign. And it's going to say welcome. And then the baby's name. And I'm doing this with a with our denim color because I thought the denim would look really nice on this whitewashed board. I wanted to do kind of a blue because I know it's a boy. And um, so this is our denim color. It kind of looks gray. Yeah, so I've got two different alphabets here. The one that I'm doing the name in is one of part of our chalk font. And the chalk font actually has three different fonts in one. So one's all caps and then one is caps and lowercase and they're a little different and they kind of look like chalky letters. They're not perfect. Okay, so I'm going to start with um, the middle um, letters and I'm going to start putting them down and I kind of want them to line up close to, hi Cindy, close to the bottom of this because I need some room at the top. And I, I just wanna eyeball the spacing because I don't want them too far apart. Okay, so I forgot already because I was just focusing on that. I need to write back, not only the word back, but also the letter of the back of my, my letters. Oh, geez, look what I did. Back, oh. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that too. That one's already written on. Ah, I just dropped it. And that one's already written on, okay. Awesome. Hi, Leslie. So I'm lining up my letters here and I'm gonna use the A twice. So I'm gonna line it up over here first. And after I do the A here, I will pick it up and move it here and immediately try to do it over there. Hi, Michelle. So, whew, is it Friday yet? Almost, right? It's finally Friday Eve. If you know who this is for, don't say anything because I kind of want it to be a surprise. And then I'm trying to like, I, th I think this Y is a little bit high. It is Friday Eve, thank goodness, Laurel. I'm just gonna adjust the Y a little. Okay. Hey, Terry. Oh, geez, Terry, if you know who this is for, do not say a word. Terry, I can see you. <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and do these letters. It's supposed to be, oh, the kids are going to be awesome if it's going to be a full moon. That's just what we need, right? A nice full moon. So I'm going to pull off my R. Ooh, that looks really nice. And I'm going to put that in water. And remember, I'm going to take my A and move it. I think I should do my L first. Yeah. 
I'm like debating. Okay. Here's my out. Remember this is on, like kind of like, there we go. Kind of like a barn wood type thing. And that's a chalk line in the middle. So that chalk line will go away. And okay, just making sure you don't have chalk on me when I stick this down. I will on my fingers now, but that's okay. So now I'm going to do the other A. And when you have like the uneven surface like this and you're chalking it, you may have little spots where it's, um, hold on, messed up a little here. I can fix all of that stuff. I can go back in with a little paintbrush and dip in there and get that going um, or start over if I don't like the way it is. Now I'm going to put my end down because I know where it's going to go. And I already know that that A is a little, like to me it's up too high. So I already want to fix it, which I certainly can do. Okay. Um, and I may or may not do it right now, or I may just extend the line to like dry this and then get my A back out, wash it off, and extend it down to try to like fool the eye to make it look like it's not higher than the others. I just need to clean it with a wipey. Hi, Susanna. What are you guys doing tonight? Nothing? Just watching me playing on your phones? I don't even know if I have any Thursday shows. I don't really watch a lot of TV, but what we do watch, it's always on like Hulu or whatever. Don't forget to like and share me. Woman, you are live during Grace. Oh, you know what? I haven't even started. I know Grace is on, but I don't watch anything live. So that's kind of my um my problem here. I don't watch. Do you guys watch shows live? I we have um I know I said this before. Oh, I said this because I I was chalking when we were supposed to be um Oh yeah, you can do some cards. My goodness, I haven't made cards in so long. So all I want to do is get, like, extend this A tiny, tiny bit. So I'm going to take a tiny little bit and put it on there, scrape it away. Same with over here. I just wanted to extend that. It's my little trick, and hopefully it will work. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. And then I'll clean that up in a second with a little Q-tip. Ha. Okay. So, you guys just need to wash that with some water, like a Q-tip and water, and then it went right away. So look at that. And it'll dry. You're funny. Oh, I don't even have, like I told you, I don't even have cable. I don't have a, a DVR. I don't have, I'm looking for a tool. This paintbrush might work or one of my little things. Um, I used to be a watcher and a skipper. Like I w never watched anything live and I only watched stuff that, um, I could fast forward on the DVR, but now I'm totally like at the mercy of Hulu or, yeah, that looks good, don't you think? Okay, um, whatever those other channels are. All right, so now I wanna make sure, hi Crystal, I wanna make sure all of this is dry 
And then I will put on the welcome. So this is like, oh, thank you, Terry. Don't tell anyone if you know who this is for. The person who it's for is not on Facebook. She does not have a Facebook page, so I'm not worried. Hi, Roberta. But I'm just worried that other people who know her may... Um, I know. Shh, be quiet. Don't tell anyone. Okay. So let's see. O W E. Now these are going to be smushed together. L C O M E. When I'm going to need to get it a little bit. I'm talking. Okay. Yes, it is. So it's going to say welcome, Raylan. And, um, I just need it to be, um, centered. And I think that C will be centered. The M is pretty big, but so is the W. So I guess I will, I think I'm going to put the C down. You know, what's the worst that can happen? I end up washing it off. And doing it over again. So I found out today that the nursery for the baby is gender neutral so that they, you know, don't have to um, redo it like for the next baby or whatever. Um, it'll just be always the nursery. Okay, so I'm putting this on that chalk line that I showed you I made but you may not be able to see it. And then it's important that I do one letter at a time because they have to um, line up. Okay. So I'm gonna do one letter and then I will um, actually dry it because that's what I have to do with this. It doesn't take too long, especially with um, small letters like this. I guess like, okay, feels good. When you line this up, you want to make sure you can actually kind of see. Hi, Betsy. You want to be able to see. Number one, I'm putting this on the chalk line. Number two, just see the edge of that C through the L. So I know that I'm going up to that next letter. Um, we do have a, we have a transfer that's all about babies and milestones. And would you believe that I don't own it? <laughs> Cause I'm like, all my people don't, you know, they already have babies. Okay. So there's the L. Good evening. Hi, Jen. Do not tell the person who this is for that I am making it. Okay. Now I'm going to, um, see... Oh, I'll do the O. Um, I could put the laser, you know, sometimes you're brilliant, but um, sometimes you're not. Make me crazy. Let's see. If I just left it up there, I could do that. So what I'm doing is I'm lining up the bottom of the transfer with that to make sure it's straight across. Now I need to write a C on the back of the, or an L. Yeah, you're always brilliant. Ah, ha, 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 ha. Okay. Next comes my O. So I'm kind of going every other, giving this a little bit of time to dry before I cover it up again. So... 
What are you guys doing tomorrow? Is everybody going to the football game? Wherever you are, your like respective football games. I think I'm going to Portage Central tomorrow. Um, I think it's the Portage versus Northern game. And um, I mean, Central versus Northern. That was funny. Oh, you don't? Is it, um, is it like a bye week or are they just away? Like it's not a home game. Oh, you know what, Jennifer? You always ruin it. No, don't go Northern, go Central. This is a letter E. You would think I would know that by now. Okay. Go Mustangs. That's what I should have said. Now I need to get through here and it's hard to see where that L is. Oh, there it is. Okay. Okay. Is my hair getting in the way? Go Eastern. Yeah, I went to Eastern. Not Central as in the chips because we don't like the chips. But Eastern, I don't know, nobody probably follows them, but their football team is doing really well this year for the first time, like, forever. Because as long as I've ever known about them, their football team has been slightly terrible. Go Eagles, Schoolcraft Eagles. I don't even think you can say that on here, Cindy. <laughs> Oh, no, surgery for you tomorrow. Ugh. Well, I hope that goes well for you, Betsy. If you have your phone, I'll try to entertain you. Is anyone afraid for my centering job? Seriously? I'm a little afraid. Ah, uh, it might not be as well. Yeah. Oh, great. Man, I tried so well. Yes, mandatory crafting if you're going to have surgery. Hi, Shannon. Oh, boy, oh, boy. Let's check this M. It's going to be close. It's going to be close with my centering. And I think that's because... You know, I just um, am not always, you know what, and nothing homemade is ever perfect. But if the centering is too off, I definitely won't be able to. Oh, it's going to be terrible. I'm just noticing it now. Yeah, I don't. That's going to be here. And when I do this. Is it going to be way terrible? How about I do it, and then you guys tell me if I have to redo it. And if I do have to redo it, all I will probably do is, like, redo the bottom. Because um, it's easier than redoing these up top. I could actually just squish some of these in a little bit and make it a little bit more centered. I'm loving this font, though. This is such a, like, trendy font right now. Um, I can't even tell you. Oh, what a great idea. I could put a little or extend the W. I you're, you're right, you guys. I could. I like your ideas. Thank you for being helpful. Hi, Jessica. Oh, jeez. Jen. Yeah, Betsy, you'll get to do a little thing. Fun, fun, fun. Okay, put my W on here. Uh, okay. Mm. 
There we go. I, when I'm concentrating, I get super quiet. Now, I could extend the W. Let's see what the E, let's see what the E looks like. Or I could shorten the E too. If I scooch it over slightly. Okay, so it goes that far. What if I just like cut it off and made it the line of the double? Okay, so let's see what this looks like. Because I really tried to plan it out beforehand. However, you know, things don't always, so it, it, I think being creative, sometimes you just have to um, go with the flow and don't be afraid to try. Just like what I tell my kids. Oops, my W didn't touch my E, but I can, I can use a, um, I can use something else there. Welcome. All right, now I have an idea for my E. What if I just do a little bit and then scooch in this and make it just slightly, so I'll do the E part. Then, I'm going to dry it. Hold on. A bunny or kitty. I could. Her theme is, I like the heart idea. Her theme is baby farm animals. And, um, but I could even like hang a little heart right here and it will make it a little heavier over there than right here. Okay, so then I'm going to scooch this. Where's my E? Okay, so I'm shortening the tail just a tiny bit. Oops, moving my board. Okay, so I shortened the tail. That looks good. And then if I, I'm going to get a little tiny heart. I can do this. I can do it. Where's my little tiny heart thing? I know I have several. Um, oh, gosh. Okay, let's see. I've got a bunch of hearts here. Hang the heart. I could, yes, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang a little heart. I just have to find, I want it to be solid. So. Will that be, I think that would be good enough. Just going to be a solid little heart. Do you think that's a good size right there to hang? I have some bigger ones, or do you think? I think that will probably do. Yes, good. Okay. All right, Betsy, good luck tomorrow. You think it's too small? You think it's perfect? I tell you what, I'm going to try it. And if it's, um, because remember this word is really fine, like it's really dainty. Um, so, sorry, I'm like reading the comments and then I'm also thinking all at the same time. And...
Oh my gosh, I need a tinier. I might use my finger. Just dab a bit on there. And then squeegee it off with a clean one. What do you think? The double heart? Hi, Nikki. The double heart? What are you talking about, double heart? Now what? Did you see something? All right, let's like take this away and let's just look at it. I'm like, Take some of that chalk away. It looks good with the little heart. It stretches it out a little bit more. Thank you for the hearts. Any other comments, concerns? going to wipe that chalk line off. And there's a little line right there that I want to fix with my um, tiny little thing. Thank you. I think a bigger heart will distract. Yeah, thank you. I kind of think that, like, I don't want to make it too heavy for that really dainty word. But I'm going to fill in a tiny bit here yeah so we're having a baby shower at work and I, I always have to make something fun to add to my gift so that's what this is going to be super simple thanks Cindy like I could put a heart over here too do you think that would be too much like the same size Do you think it would be too much? Hi, Debbie. You know, I'm always critiquing my work. I wonder if I... Oh my goodness. Two hearts. Would you put two hearts? You think it will unbalance it because the whole point was to make it more spread out that way. Oh my gosh. If I did it, it would go right there. And then I'd have two hearts. I've got yeses and noes. You're going to Home Depot? The boys are in bed? Okay, my husband has to go to Home Depot because... <laughs> just because... Piece broken on the bottom of the fridge. Oh, okay. There's a piece broken in the bottom of the fridge. We were down here. He was down here fixing something, and then I heard water. Oh. Oh, you had a kid interrupt. We were just talking about this, but um, we I heard water, and I'm like, what is that water? And I'm like, is someone taking a shower? Why would somebody be taking a shower? Aaron and I are down here. The girls aren't here. And it was just Easton and Ryan, and they're not, they, you know. So I didn't think anything of it. All of a sudden, Aaron calls down, Oh, we need to turn off the water. <laughs> Our refrigerator was just like pouring water. So I don't know. I think I could play with it and add it. Okay, now I kind of want to add it. So let me look and see. The heart, but no heart. Okay, now I have two no hearts. Just leave it the way it is. You guys just think I should leave it? It's so crazy, the delay that you get on here, that people, um, now I feel bad for like all the people who ever do this. I watch, I am like, I do a couple, I have a couple webinars a month. Hi, Heather. All right, I'm just gonna leave it. I think this is going to be super cute and it's very like farmhouse 
Yeah, um, I so I heard the water and then it was pouring out of our refrigerator because something on the water line of the refrigerator broke. I don't know how it was totally random, but Aaron's been fixing that all night and yeah. Awesome. Hey, Tracy. So this is what I did today. Just if you want to check out the like my painful lining everything up. Thank you, Trisha. Lining everything up. This is our Bromella font. This is our, um, you know, what did I say it was called? The chalk font. It's the chalk font. And um, I do too. I absolutely love it. Now, when I lined it up, I questioned putting the C in the middle because the M is really big. But then I thought, well, the W is pretty big and wide. So I thought it would work out okay. To me, I would like it a little bit better if it was slightly over, but um, that's why I added the heart. You'll see if you watch it from the beginning, that's what I did. So there we go. I made a cute little sign. This is for um, one of my coworkers having a baby and um, shh, nobody tell her. She's not on Facebook, so that's good. She won't see this unless somebody shows her. But I'm just going to add this little sign to her basket or whatever I get. I don't know. I haven't shopped. I love shopping for babies though. So it'll be fun. I have like a stray piece of um, wood here that came up from the grain and it's like making me crazy. So I have to cut it. Okay. There. Any questions about this? You guys saw what I did. Hey, Carly. I just made this. Um, it's just a cute little sign. It's for a baby. And okay. If you guys have any questions, otherwise, if you're just joining, go back and watch this when um I turn it off. I'll publish it or I'll post it, and then you guys can watch it from the beginning. I just kind of drew chalk lines. Um, I used a square, um, a laser square, and made the lines with chalk so I could see them, but then easily wipe them off. And then I just kind of laid it out, started with the middle letters and worked my way out and kind of got it centered. Yes, kind of. All right, guys, I'm going to sign out for now, do a little work behind the scenes and um, PM me with questions if anyone's got any. Otherwise, have a good night and happy Friday tomorrow.